welcome back to this monthly recap. So I have so much to share today. I'm so excited. I should probably get right into it because it's a lot of stuff. So the first thing I want to talk about is Cakewalk, which is a ceramic show that Maddie and I just did at a gallery called Tetrapod in East Hollywood or Virgil Village. It's up until June 11th. So if you're in LA, please come by and check it out. We just had our opening reception on the 20th just like a couple days ago my parents came uh, my family came my boyfriend helped uh, build a last minute hat installation it was like such a big deal to me because I've never had my parents show up to anything I've done so it was really exciting but also I got to do it with my best friend so um, yeah Again, if you're in LA and you want to look at some ceramics, I made two shoes, two hats, um, a boot, oh, and a folded shirt. Um, yeah, if you are around, please check it out. The opening reception was super fun. And if you made it out, thank you for coming. Um, I got to wear this outfit that I was so excited to wear. Um, I had these like bright red pants from Lo Bonito, which is actually the sponsor for this video. Lo Bonito is known for their modern minimalist style and thoughtful design. They actually listen to their community and focus on solving daily problems like having deeper functional pockets and a second button closure for days when you require a bit more give. Lo Bonito offers accessible ready wear fashion, whether you need of a power suit for your dream job interview, a flirty dress for your friend's wedding, buttery soft workout sets for motivation, or an adorable matching outfit for you and your little one. Love Me New has items to fit every occasion. As a female-founded and female-led company, it is Love Benito's mission to focus on what matters to women. This led them to partner with organizations like Room to Read to advocate for girls' education around the world. They design all their clothing to empower confidence through style. I picked out these four pieces because I felt like they can all be worn for multiple occasions, especially the red pants. They are actually super comfortable. So if you want to upgrade your closet with clothes made to fit you today with Love Benito, go to the link in my description box and use the promo code LBX. Christine for 10% off your order of $110 or more. Again, my code is LBX Christine to get 10% off your order of $110 or more. All right, so every month, if you haven't noticed, I've been doing a ceramics giveaway at the beginning of every month. So this month, I want to give away da -da -da -da, this boot. The rule is all you have to do is go on my Instagram and find this photo. Hint, it's in the description box. Um, and comment with your favorite emoji. That's all you have to do and just do it once and then after three days I'm going to pick a winner I'm going to dm you as well and then you just have to send me your address and I'll send it out also I know I've been neglecting my ceramics website I'm sorry but I'm going to be restocking pretty soon my boyfriend's been helping me a lot so we're going to have some zen gardens up again we're going to be restocking the cowboy boots and yeah so keep an eye out check out the website if you're not already following my ceramics instagram you should because I update on there a lot yeah if you're interested check it out what have i been watching on youtube you know i think it's because it's aapi month i've been getting a lot of recommendations for asian youtubers but um i just found out about tam mai or tam mai i'm not really sure she's vietnamese um she travels a lot and she goes to like vietnam and south korea and like a bunch of different places she's in her 20s she's beautiful she's got a very like zen like asmr voice i've been watching her a lot on youtube because I just love the way that she interacts with her audience and she made a video on how to make pho or no, no, of her learning how to make pho for the first time and she's got such a cute relationship with her mom and I love listening to her speak Vietnamese because I speak Vietnamese and I don't think it sounds really beautiful but when she speaks it, it's so like the intonation and like the rhythm in which she speaks that sounds so beautiful to me so it makes me proud to be Vietnamese. She doesn't have like a crazy amount of followers which is insane to me because she's so deserving of a wider audience so if you don't already know about her please follow her channel. Also I, I was recommended Life of Riza when I was in Canada. I went to Canada this month for my boyfriend's grandmother's 90th birthday but when I was there I got recommended this channel who's like a, it's a Canadian channel and it's a woman named Life of Riza and she also doesn't have like a crazy amount of followers but her videos she's been making vlogs for the last like two weeks she, I think she's trying to do it every week but she's been making vlogs and they're like little short films they're so well done the coloring's fantastic and the pace, the tone, her voice, everything is just so well done. She really deserves some sort of award for, that's my guy, Enrique, that's my ice cream guy, I love him. Oh my gosh, 
I think he's stopping in front of my house because he knows I'm a fan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's stopping in front of my house because I need to go get ice cream right now. It's so funny because when I first moved into this neighborhood, he'd come by all the time and then I think five days in a row, I kept buying ice cream every day. So then he'd stop in front of my house. This one day my boyfriend's like, hey, why isn't, why isn't he moving? You know, like, because normally they move up the neighborhood, you know, but he wasn't moving. I'm like, it's because I've been getting ice cream every day. So he knows I'm a loyal customer. <laughs> He's got like soft serve in his truck, which is delicious, but I just can't right now because I have to finish this video. He'll circle around. Um, anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, Life of Rizzo. Fantastic YouTube channel. Very well done. They're like short films and it's so inspiring because I mean, I've been making YouTube videos for like 15 years. So I'm kind of like, I have a formula for things if you haven't noticed. But whenever I watch her videos or whenever I watch even Tam's videos, I'm like, oh, I gotta switch it up. I gotta do something different. I gotta get be more excited about learning new ways of editing or learning new styles of editing. So yeah, those two YouTubers are fantastic if you are looking for someone new to watch. So I just recently switched my shower head, like less than a month ago. I got the Julie's shower head, just like everybody. Everyone's been getting like targeted ads for it. So have I, so I finally got one. I got it because I shed so much and the water in LA is super hard and I was looking at my shower head my previous one and it's just so gunked up with like calcium buildup and I started seeing some green mold and I recently just cleaned it with like vinegar and everything too so I'm like what the heck so then I got the Jolie shower head which is super easy to install it came with its own little cute little wrench thing and I got the black shower head intentionally because I know that if hard water were to build up then you would see it because it's like white marks right it's been like three weeks not quite a month yet what they were saying is that after three months you'll notice a huge difference in your hair or whatever right after the third time of washing my hair I noticed a significant difference in terms of like hair loss the first thing that I noticed which I think is the most important thing which I mean, I don't feel like anyone talked about this or brought this up, but I love body lotion. I use so much body lotion every single day and I always recommend it on this channel. You guys know that. After the first time using this shower head, I noticed that I didn't have to use lotion. Like I usually get like really scaly skin, especially on my legs, like especially after shaving and stuff. And I didn't have to use lotion and I'm like, maybe it's a fluke. So I went like a week and like again, like I didn't have to use lotion. I haven't been using lotion. I haven't been feeling like my skin is tight and needs lotion or anything like that. So yeah, I'm really stoked about that. Next thing I wanna talk about, my hairstylist recommended this, is the Devoness Clarifying Shampoo. I mean, I'm sure any clarifying shampoo would be great. Every single time I get a haircut from Daisy, who's my hairstylist, she's fantastic. I can go an entire week without shampooing my hair or using dry shampoo and it doesn't feel icky. And I mentioned that to her and she was saying that it's because I have a lot of product built up in my hair because I do use a lot of product. So she said to switch over to a clarifying shampoo every like couple weeks or so. So every two weeks, I'll shampoo my hair with this this, which is the Domino's shampoo, Salu shampoo, clarifying shampoo. And then I'll apply a deep conditioner right afterwards so it can really soak into my hair. And it's been leaving my hair like super soft after every time I clarify my hair. Yeah, so if you are like blow drying your hair and you feel like the back just stays wet all the time, like a little bit damp all the time, like you can never get it dry, it's because you have a lot of buildup, which I didn't realize. So it doesn't have to be this brand because this is pretty crazy, but um, start incorporating a clarifying shampoo and you'll see that the products that you use afterwards will work so much better. It's just like if you were to exfoliate and then apply your skincare afterwards, you'll notice that everything sinks in better, works better, and even your makeup applies more cleanly. Let's move on to makeup. So I've been using BB cream and this is the one from Dr. Jart. I have two here because oddly enough, BB creams are supposed to be like a wide range of, um, like tones that can fit but i'm b between these two shades there's four shades total and i'm between both of them light medium which is closer to my shade and then also medium tan i'm using this because it just feels really good on my skin and like when i use it first thing in the morning and look at my skin throughout the day it just looks better and better throughout the day it looks more glowy um and it's got like spf 40 in it i think yeah spf 40 and it's got skincare benefits it's got niacinamide in it and yeah so it feels like i'm doing something good for my skin but it also looks really nice the most fun thing about this is that i've been applying it with one of these things i've been getting so many target ads for these but this is a skincare spatula and it's oh 
it makes applying foundation so fun because you put a very small amount of it and then um, just use like a sponge or I've been using a brush but just pat it out and it just blends everything out smoothly it applies like the smallest amount of product so you're not like over layering it just looks so clean and it's just a cool tool to mix and apply your foundation with what you're meant to do is just apply your foundation on one side of the spatula and then apply thin layers onto your skin I know it looks intimidating but it's as blunt as the back end of a butter knife in fact you can probably just use the back end of a butter knife to apply using this method so yeah if you want to try out that method and then it works out for you invest in one of these I mean this is like five bucks it wasn't expensive or anything but it works really well and it just feels really cool to apply onto your skin and then I'll actually blend it in with this brush right here which is the Jones Road blush brush this blush brush I've been using for everything so even like I only have one of these okay so I'll apply my foundation with it and then go ahead and put on my blush and then also my bronzer and because of its synthetic bristles it's easy to wash off it's easy to like wipe off pigment um it blends everything nicely and it's just so like it's the perfect density but also the perfect flex and just makes applying makeup super fun and it washes quickly so i'll just wash it right after i use it and then it'll be dry and ready to go in like a few hours you know i use it with everything liquid foundation cream blush powder to finish off um yeah i just use it with everything i'll even use it for highlighter too so on youtube i watch this girl called amanda z she does a lot of like beauty makeup reviews and in one of her thumbnails on one of her videos she had this right here which is is the 3CE, what is it called? Lip Blur. The color I have is Sepia. She had it in one of her thumbnails, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I really like that product because I have a different formulation of this that I've been using since like 2018. It's been my go-to lip color. So I just wanted to hear her words about it, you know? This is a completely different formula. So she sold me on something completely different and I love it. I love the color of it. I love the formulation. It's super smooth and it feels like a lip balm that you're applying, but it leaves a little bit of stain that's buildable so you can keep layering on and get like a more and more bright and bold color. It doesn't dry it on too quickly so you can really adjust and apply on your lips and your lids and everything too. The Dofa applicator is really easy to apply. It's actually a lot better than the original one that I've been using. It's like a stain and a balm together. Next thing, ooh, this is the Vacation Classic Lotion SPF 30. Packaging is so fun. The reason why I really like this is because it just smells like the beach. It smells like vacation. Branding is hilarious. It looks like a 1980s commercial or infomercial. I'm not gonna lie, I do have a lot of sunscreens, but the reason why I reach for this one is because it smells so good. So that's the sunscreen that I'm gonna be reaching for all summer. And the last thing I wanna talk about, these are spurtles. I have so many of them. This is a classic spurtle, which is like a cooking tool, but there's a miniature version of this, the mini spurtle, right here that I've been using for clay, oddly enough because um, there's a tool that looks very similar to this in ceramics that you use, but it's like super expensive. So then I started using just tools around my kitchen for ceramics and this works fantastic because it doesn't have like a crazy sharp edge on the back. So you can pound clay together really quickly and you have a lot of control. Anyway, my next door neighbor is her son and um, he was posting stuff about her and I'm like, how do you know LSQ? And then he's like, oh yeah, that's my mom. And I'm like, that's so weird because I've been watching her since I wanna say the mid twenties or mid 2000s when I first got into like cast iron cooking and um, just cooking in general because like, that's like around the time when I first moved out so I learned a lot about cooking and cookware and how to treat things and how to look for things through her and then she happened to be my neighbor's mom so I got to meet her and I told her about how I use this in ceramics and how much I love it and everything so she sent a bunch of them to the studio that I go to so that other people can enjoy them too which is such a generous gift I love this and I use it all the time in ceramics and now I have one for cooking and she actually just gave me this one too which is like a much bigger um, I think this is like Vermont cherry wood. It's like a much bigger spurtle, which I haven't gotten to use yet, but I'm excited to use it. This is the classic one, and this is the smaller one right here. She's got a lot of cookbooks too, so if you are interested, look up Mad Hungry on YouTube. Watch some of her videos. I'll link some in the description as well. She makes cooking so exciting, and I'm so happy that I got to meet her because she's had such an influence on 
my life. Yeah, I'm so glad I got to meet her because she's even cooler in real life. That's everything. Again, thank you so much, Lobanito, for sponsoring this video. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.